and welcome to GSP Sea Fishing and in this little video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make some emergency mackerel feathers, mackerel lures out of an item that you can find laying around on the beach so that if you haven't got any mackerel feathers in your tackle box and the mackerel start showing up and you want to catch them you can spend 10 minutes quickly make some feathers and get catching them so there we are here it is in front of me the rig this is a four hook mackerel feather rig and there it is and these are made from packets of crisp so there we are here they are in front of me i will show you how i make them now right to start making these emergency mackerel feathers what you're going to need is a few things out of your tackle box your tackle bag that you've gone fishing with and then you're going to need to scavenge something as well so a must is some line this is just some old line that i'm using you can use your leader material that that uh, you use to put your casting leaders on if you've got leader material and some hook snood material even better use both um, you could use the leader material for the main rig body then you can use the hook snood material for the hook snoods on this then you want some hooks if you've got some hooks in your bag, sort of 2.0 size, 1.0 size, that's great. These are just some sort of bait holder hooks here. They're ideal. You can use Aberdeen hooks. This is basically an emergency rig. This will catch you fish if you're there at the beach. The mackerel show up and you've got no mackerel feathers. But um, ideally, you want some round bend hooks like this. They're slightly thicker gauge than your Aberdeen hooks, but Aberdeen hooks will work. And then you can use a link clip there that I've got in my hand, like so. That can go on the bottom for your lead weight. And then what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to scavenge along the beach. And unfortunately, in the UK, there's a lot of litter around. So I'm gonna scavenge a crisp packet. If you can find a crisp packet, that's great, or something shiny. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you'll find bits of bit, bits and pieces like this lying around everywhere. So um, let's put it to use and catch you some fish in an emergency. So let's start first by sorting this crisp packet out to make us some attractors for our hooks. Right, so you're going to need your scissors out of your tackle box. And then the first thing I want to do along one side is just cut down one side there like so. And then I'm going to cut the bottom off as well, like so. And then what I'm going to do with this, fold it along there, fold it in half, like so, and half again, and then half again. That's what I've got. Now I'm going to hold that in my hand, like this, and I'm just going to cut some strips off like this they can be sort of five mil six mil long absolutely fine voila now we've got all these long bits of a tractor really so what you want to do is get three pieces Fold them in half so the shiny bits on the outside. So we've got one, two, three. We pinch them all together. One spot there, like so. Now what you want to do is try and get all these, like so, level at one end. And what we'll do is lay them onto the hook shank. And there you see the eye of the hook. I lay these just on top of it up to the eye like so. Then we're going to take the line that you've got and pass it through the, the eye of the hook whilst pinching all of these bits together and you're basically going to tie these on with an easy snail knot. Create a loop there at the bottom. You don't want to muck around with this. Just 
make sure you've got them in the right place and you've got the hook and then easy snail knot I'll put a link up the top there for it let's start tying that Right, so once you've wrapped around on this easy snail knot, um, the link, as you've just seen, has gone up. You can uh, gently tighten this down, trying to keep all of these bits of foil in place. There we go. Now don't tighten too much. You want to then slowly move that to the front of this hook, keeping it together, and then you can tighten it down up to the eye of that hook like so you can then bring these round there we go right and then all you want to do we cut the tag end here Tagging of the line that's come through that easy snail. Like so, and we will cut these to maybe an inch over the end of the hook. And there we go. We've got one feather a tractor cut there so I'm going to cut this line off to about for now 10 inches put this to a side and do another three right so there we have it four little lures made little tractors um, these have taken me probably about two minutes to put together each there we go and now all we need to do is get the main rig body for this feather rig and then attach these feathers to it which is very simple so we'll move these to the side for a minute we're going to take a section of this line that you've got whatever your line is now i've got four lures there so this is going to need to be let's take off about a meter and a half right so a meter and a half gives us plenty of line to build this rig first thing i'm going to do is at the top of the rig so I know where the top is I'm going to do just a loop knot to attach this so I'm going to fold over the line like so there you can see there's a tag end fold it over and then I'm basically going to do a double overhand knot there one with the loop two pull that tight like so there we go, I've got a loop at the top of the line that can attach to my main to my main line. Cut the tag end off. And now from that loop, we're gonna come down, I don't know, approximately 20, 25 centimeters, and we're gonna do a figure of eight knot. Very simple. We've got the tag in the end here. We're basically gonna take the line round, cross it over to create a loop. There. We're then gonna take this back round and under like there so we've got the figure of eight i'm going to tuck the tag back through the first loop that you created i'll put the link up the top anyway so i'm going to do that just pull that down so it's not quite tight but it's tight enough we're then going to go another 20 25 centimeters down do the same again so what i've basically got now is i've got this length of line with a loop on one end there to attach to my rod my reel my leader my clip and then i've got a figure of eight knot there I come down again i've got another figure of eight knot there i've got a third figure of eight knot there fourth one down there and then what i'm going to do i had a rig clip here i'm going to tie the rig clip at the bottom here just with a uni knot there we go now this is the rig body ready to go. So what we want to do is on your figure of eight knot. Right, so now there's your figure of eight knot. Not fully pulled tight. But what we're going to do 
it's just so whilst there's a little gap in it we're going to work from the bottom of the rig up and we're going to pass through one of your tied hook snoods through the gap in the figure eight knot like so just pass that through there and i'm going to pull that all the way up until the lure is nearly at the figure of eight knot and i'm going to pull that one tight i'm going to do the same with the next one from the bottom up i'm going to pass that through one of the gaps near to the rig i'm going to pull that tight do the same with the third and the fourth now you've basically got your four hook snoods your lures encapsulated between the figure of eight knots and you just need to tie them off right so there you can see i've got the lure running through that figure of eight knot so what i'm going to do is leave about an inch there between the line and the lure and then the other side of this top side of the figure of eight knot here i'm going to run the two lines together bring the tag in round like so leaving a, a fairly big ish hole probably the size of i don't know like a a bottle top a bit bigger than a bottle top there milk top say and then we're going to pass the line through do a uni knot round the hook snood and the main rig body do it five times and pull that down like so We can pull the rig body so the figure eight knot tightens and then we can pull the lure down and it should slide down and once the knot hits the figure eight knot it should all tighten up like so there we are and then what we can do cut this tag at the end of the lure and you've got your first mackerel feather lure in place do the same with the second let's just do it again quickly so what we've got here you've got your second one we've got it through the figure of eight knot and an inch hanging over it so above the figure of eight knot we run both lines we loop the 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 lure the hook snood line round against the rig body line and we basically do a uni knot and pass it round both lines like so and then we tighten that down gently pull the lure through it meets the figure eight knot we can just pull it all tight there we go lovely cut the tag end off we'll do the same with the other two and there we have it we have a four hook mackerel lure trace mackerel feathers whatever you want to call them this is an emergency rig that you can build on the beach quickly and this will catch you mackerel i can guarantee that works very well and you can always if you want to recycle some crisp packets when you're at home you can actually make all your mackerel feathers at home and you can do different colors so you've got the silver with the green here you can like packs of quavers or prawn cocktails or you've got pink you've got yellows you've got purple packs of crisps you can do whatever you want and uh, recycle your crisps to make mackerel lures mackerel feathers there we are anyway i hope this has helped because i know there's been times when i've been on the beach without mackerel feathers and the mackerel have turned up and i've always thought oh i wish i'd have feathers and then it was a couple of years ago I fashioned some of these on the beach and it caught me probably about 50 or so mackerel anyway until next time tight lines